Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Muhammad Hassan. I'm an engineer and currently a physics professor. If you're a student and you're looking to buy a laptop or invest into a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro and you are tight on a budget, then I think you have stumbled upon this device known as Mac Mini, which is 40% cheaper than the MacBook Air, which is based on M1 processor, whereas the Mac Mini, which is the newer version, is based on M2 processor. Then an immediate question pops up. Can I use this Mac Mini as a laptop replacer? Can I use this as a laptop? And being a productivity nerd, I am a fan of upfront conclusion. And so that you can save your time, yeah, you can absolutely use this Mac Mini almost like a laptop replacer. Now I have added almost because you need an iPad uh, to do so. So if you have any generation iPad, like 9th generation, 10th generation, the cheapest one or the base model, you can absolutely use that as an external monitor and connect it with your Mac Mini to convert it into a laptop. That's why I said almost. The M2 Mac Mini is an incredible device and it's super powerful. It will handle anything that you throw at it without any hiccup. If you want to know how I use my M2 Mac Mini as a laptop replacer, then you can follow this video and you will get what I'm trying to say. And it will also help you to decide whether you need to buy a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini, which is also cheaper. So let's jump into the steps and show you how what are the things that you need to do in order to convert this Mac Mini into a laptop replacer? So the first thing that you need is an external monitor in order to set up the Mac Mini. Okay, so just connect the Mac Mini to an external monitor. And I know that if you're watching this video, you'll have an external monitor at home. So just connect the Mac Mini to an external monitor. And this is just a one time process. Okay, so I've connected the Mac Mini to the external monitor. And then you need to open Safari and after opening Safari, type YAM Display, okay? And go to yamdisplay.com because this is the software that will actually help to convert your iPad into an external monitor. Okay, once it's done, then download this YAM Display for Mac. I have already downloaded that, so I won't be downloading it. So I've downloaded it. Once you've downloaded this thing, what you need to do, you'll see that there is an icon that pops up here at the top right corner. So click this and this is the software for YAM display. After clicking, click on preferences. After preference, click this launch at login. This is very important. Next, what you need to do is to turn off the computer or remove the external monitor and connect it to the iPad. And then in the iPad, download the YAM display software from the app store. Once it's done, open the iPad open that YAM display and connect the iPad with the Mac mini. And in order to connect the iPad to the Mac mini, just use the wire that is provided in the box uh, along with the charger, use that cord, connect it to the Mac mini. Once it's connected, turn on the computer and wait for five to 10 seconds and open the YAM display. After opening the YAM display, click the password that you have for your login. Now, once you put the password and then press enter, the iPad will turn into a external monitor. So voila, and this is how you need to convert your Mac mini into a laptop. The only drawback for this setup is that you require a power supply. Other than that, it is quite portable. The Mac mini is just 1.2 kg. So if you want to take this setup with you uh, at your office or at your grandpa's house, or maybe somewhere else where there is a power supply and most of the cases you'll get a power supply. Then you can take this setup and you do your work anywhere. And I think this is very much portable. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then please consider doing so. I'll catch you all in my next video. Till then, 